that being said, is you because you're not dealing with your own, you're attracting the stuff that's going to make you sick. Is that it? Is that it? Or is it an internal? There's a lot of things at work with sickness. Um, the majority of sickness is what happens is that there's an emotion for a start in our soul. The emotion in our soul blocks our energy flow in our spirit body. And the fl energy flow in our spirit body is what keeps our physical body well. So when the energy stops flowing in a certain part of our f spirit body, our physical body then becomes affected by that, stop by that f s slowing energy or that energy that's now stopped flowing. And that then exposes that part of the body to outside risks or internal risks like, you know, cancer is an internal risk, right? But it exposes that part of the body to that risk. And so all sickness is emotion. Everyone. Colds, flus. Colds, flus, yeah, yeah. This week I've had a runny nose like five days out of the seven, like constantly. I think I used a whole box of tissues on the way here, actually. Um, and the reason why was because, like, I'm cycling between wanting to deal with this grief, I deal with it for two or three hours, and then I tune out of it. And when I tune out of it, my nose starts running again. Right? And then, do you see what's happening? Every time I tune out of it, the grief, instead of just feeling the grief, my nose starts running. And when I tune back into my grief, my nose stops running. And, and it's been like that the entire week. Somebody else would have said, oh, I've got allergies. <laughs> Oh, certainly your body can go through cycles where you're cleansing your emotions. Like, there was one cycle that I had where um, for two weeks I had really bad smelly feet, right? Yeah. Um, and yes, it was an emotional relief to that. And it, once I release that emotion, the physical body changes. I'm talking... Was that uh, a soul condition? Sorry. <laughs> 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 Who wants to know whether their husband's got that emotion? <laughs> um, I can't even remember what it is. <laughs> but just for two weeks, I was just. Yeah, my my feet had never stunk in my life, and then all of a sudden, for two weeks, they did, and then it went away. I can't understand it when it's a highly contagious you know, illness. That, um... Your body has absolutely everything inside of itself when it's working perfectly to get rid of any illnesses whatsoever. Your body it, right now is full of so many bugs that could kill you. And yet, you're, they don't. Because your body is perfectly, when, when it's perfectly running, it has the ability to cope with anything. It's only when you're out of harmony emotionally that your body no longer has any way to cope with those particular things and they take over. It's run down. It's run down. But then there's a lot of diseases today that are called diseases that are almost purely emotional based, right? Mm -hmm. Things like heart disease and, and, and uh, cancers and leukaemia and... Like all of these different things, very all emotionally caused. The best thing to do is this: assume that everything is emotionally caused, because it is. <laughs> now I know that a lot of you have been looking into nutrition for years, right? And looking into like eating the right foods, doing the right thing, doing that. The truth is that while all of those can have a positive effect on you, they're having a positive effect on you. Firstly, because there's emotions involved in your desire to do that. And secondly, because you're now taking a lot more care of yourself than you were before. And there's a lot of other emotional reasons too. The truth is that when you are connected with yourself emotionally, you will want to look after yourself. So you don't have to throw all that away, but understand that every illness inside of you is emotionally caused. And I can feel lots of disbelief about this subject. Yeah, well, bodily fluids and that sort of thing that are passed on, HIV or whatever, um, yeah. people who don't deserve it, but they and have no idea, they come into contact, but they have. And, um, <laughs> My comment remains the same. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same with children who have leukaemia and die? And, um, mm -hmm. that's, that's emotionally based from childhood? Uh, oftentimes it's emotionally based through spirit attraction as well. From parents? From parents, yeah. Obviously a child cannot have a spirit attached to it if the parent has a protective, does not have that emotion. Right? So a lot of things like leukaemia, childhood, childhood 
cancers are very much caused by spirit attraction generally, but that's caused by the emotions of the parents that they've not yet dealt with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. so, so illness is another great opportunity to actually look at so what you might need to be looking at. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I feel a bit tight here in the throat, right? right? And I know exactly why. Right? I feel a really bit tight. This week I felt really tight across the chest. I've not had asthma for nearly 14 years. And this week, one night, I had asthma. So what's that? Uh, across here was grief. This was grief, and this was about saying the truth. Right? So there's some things I need to work on, in particular with my soulmate. 